welcome back, my loyal citizens of Ottawa. GM Yeesh here up at the Year 3 All-Star break with your Ottawa Senators, and we are currently fighting for that ever-elusive playoff spot, boys. I asked you guys what changes need to be made in the last episode to keep us competitive in the playoff hunt, and you guys all seem to agree that a trade needs to happen with Pavelski being the centerpiece. The first analyst says, Agree that the issues seem to be at even strength. Shift out paths to try and spark that fourth line. Seems like a season of growing pains, and not sure if the playoffs are realistic here, up here in year three, especially in this division. Yeah, it is loaded. I think fifth here is like second in the Metro or something. It's ridiculous. Uh, goes on to say, the kids are recovering in morale from being in the basement last season, and their overalls are going up. I'd wager that if you keep the small moves, it will benefit the team in the long run. So basically, they want us to make trades while holding on to our picks and uh, higher level prospects like Kaliev, Formington, Dillon, all of those guys. And that makes sense to me. We aren't in a position to be uh, mortgaging the future just for a wild card spot, right? Uh, the next comment agrees that Pavelski needs to go, and maybe youth can even be part of the solution. Saying, that fourth line is pretty old, maybe Garen can help there. Now, I agree that finding a replacement center for Pavelski would be best. A one-year rental might be best with Donskoy, Eakin, Duclair, Guerin, and Foreman and Byfield and play for bottom six roles next year. But if there's an opportunity for a solid long-term guy, maybe you should take it and let the best prospect win out the remaining roles next year. <coughs> now, I like the idea of uh, trading Pavelski for a one-year rental just because Byfield, to me, seems like a borderline lock for that fourth-line center role next season, maybe even third-line center, right? But as far as getting a one-year replacement goes, the next comment even has a specific team in mind. Starts with, uh, I'm happy about Saros. That was a great trade and it's paying off well. A young tandem from, for years to come. Now, 100% Saros has been far better than I could have even hoped for, right? He's just been absolutely phenomenal with a 920 save percentage this season. I'm excited about that goes on to say, I think we need to move out Pavelski. There has to be a guy on the Islanders or another bottom feeder team that can lock down the fourth line center role. I don't wait until the deadline and target to get a good trade done. So I don't want to wait until the deadline just because our team's been on the downswing for a while now. Um, let's see. Here we are. New York Islanders. I did some pre-scouting and there is a guy on the Islanders in Casey Zizekas. I'll go ahead and show you boys his stats right here. 79 overall. List is a third liner. Fantastic defensive categories. Now, he is worse offensively than Pavelski, but take a look at his hits and then compare them to Joe Pavelski. Last year, he had 137 hits, and this year he, he's already uh, averaging a hit per game despite playing fourth line minutes. And take a look at Pavelski, boys, and I believe this is why he didn't simulate well with us. Let's see. Here he is. Uh, Joe Pavelski, his hits. I believe this season he has like what? Yeah, 15 hits in 37 games, right? Last year he only had 46 hits, so Sezikis has already passed Pavelski's hit total from last year. Now, it looks like he used to hit in the first year of simulation, but as he's uh, gotten older, right, it seems he's focused more on just uh, scoring. So I think we have like two playmakers on the fourth line right now in Pavelski and Ryan, and they just aren't fitting the system. So, <clears throat> Sezikis, and I'm also going to take a, uh, here we are, Michael Del Cole, very nice. Now, Del Cole, former fifth overall pick, um, he doesn't seem to be much, right? He has some pretty good offensive stats, though, and I'm not sure I'm ever going to use him, but at the same time, I'm leaving a lot of value on the table here. I may as well try and get something in return, and draft picks, I want a fourth round pick from the Islanders, there we go. And the reason the Islanders want to make this trade, boys, hold up, I got to throw in a minor leaguer. There we go. So the reason the Islanders want to make this trade, remember how everyone was super upset with us when we were uh, tanking last season? Well, this is their second straight year of that. <clears throat> Jeez, my throat this morning. Aye, aye, aye. So I don't think uh, you have a lot of guys super upset. This kid had attitude issues. This kid probably not happy, right? And if they can make a trade to improve their locker room chemistry and morale, and maybe Pavelski can even help some of these guys get more points, it makes perfect sense for them. And worst case scenario, they can flip Pavelski for a second at the deadline pretty easily. So it makes perfect sense. So I'll go ahead and, yeah, yeah I'm leaving value on the table, but I, I'm getting what I want. Not a big deal. So go ahead and do some power video editing with the lines here, boys. I have a couple changes I want to show you. And 
uh, one more comment I want to read off here. So go ahead and do that real quick, and I'll read the next comment. Alrighty, boys. So I got the lines figured out. Um, I know this looks pretty crazy. I'll explain them in a second. But first, there's a comment I want to read. It's something I totally neglected. Uh, it states, The bottom pair left-handed defenseman Nick Holden needs to go as well. He's not looking too hot right now, and Pajot could have locked down the fourth line, but it's too late for that. And Pavelski clearly doesn't cut it for us on the fourth line. So we already moved out Pavs. Um, Pajot, I would have loved to keep, but he was really upset at how we performed, and he wanted out. So I couldn't realistically bring him back in, and I'm not even sure I could have brought him back in within the limits of the game. Like, he was upset and ready to leave. I think he would have demanded for a trade if he wasn't a pinning unrestricted free agent. So, <clears throat> his problem with Holden, who I've sent down to the minors here, is that, let's see, I totally missed this, but his potential has dropped down to AHL top 2 exact, and his role has dropped down to minor top 4 defenseman, and his overall has gone from like a 78 to a 75. Now, it's not like he was dragging the team down, right? Plus minus 0, but his overall would have continued to go down over the course of the season and while we're pushing for the playoffs that's exactly what we do not need so I've replaced him with uh, here we are Brendan Smith um, hopefully he simulates well or decently enough defensive defenseman and I figure we're paying him four million a year we may as well play him right um, if he's not good I can always make a trade at the deadline to keep us from uh, what do you call it uh, holding us back so as far as the lines go, I believe someone suggested it like, what was it, year two, I want to say. Try playing Brady Kachuk as center. He's played center before in college. And as far as the top six goes, the only person who's underperforming is Nikolai Ehlers. And he's constantly lost morale from uh, individual performance. So at the very least, I want to give him some ice time and see if he can't uh, help us simulate there. Now, I'm also... Let's see. Yeah, I also Wayne Simmons. Yeah, I also want to give Ehlers some penalty kill time. Again, I don't want him getting upset and demanding a trade like he did in Winnipeg. And so, as far as the lines for the second line goes, two pure playmakers alongside Josh Norris. P pretty self-explanatory. Hopefully, they can get him the puck. Jason Guerin seems like a sniper, and Duclair's another sniper with Brownie the pure playmaker. And then we have the fourth line gritty shutdown line. I'm leaving the D pairings alone as is for the most part. I've liked what I've seen from them uh, this season. So there we go. Now, we can still send Garen down if he's not clearly not NHL ready, right? These lines are just something I want to try out. Our team's been absolutely slumping over the past month and a half, or you could argue they just overperformed in the first part. But either way, boys, we should be happy with uh, how we've gone in year uh, three here, but I still want to try and make the playoffs if I can. We got some morale meetings to take care of real quick. Wayne Simmons. I'm not too thrilled with you trading away Joe Pavelski. Yeah, I know he likes demanding. Mm -hmm. Casey Zizekas being traded is a big change, but I'll make you proud of your choice. Now, I could be wrong, boys, but I think he likes motivating. I think. Oops. Well, my memory sucks. And Dal uh, Cole, glad to join the team. I'll make sure this trade looks good for you. I'll just go demanding. No. Yeah, okay, okay. That's fine. No reason to uh, <clears throat> risk more people getting upset. So we'll go ahead and simulate like three games at a time here. There's a huge win against Winnipeg, three-game win streak. Ah, snapped against San Jose. I'm not too concerned about the Western Conference teams. It's more the Eastern Conference teams we have to worry about, right? Like uh, Columbus, Boston here. Um, okay, okay, there we go, boys. Three wins in the last four. We're starting to put something together here. I was thinking that we might want to just, uh, what I could do is turn off auto-rotate goalies and have Saros just be the starter for the bulk of the games. But if we're winning games right here, I'm perfectly okay with this, right? Um, if Gustafsson can come in, give him some relief, and we can still put wins together, I'm happy about that. So we're about a week away from the trade deadline. Let's go up to the final days here. Might need to make a move, but I'm pretty happy with what I've seen so far post uh, deadline one of the pains about being a young team right in experience is that you'll be super hot one day and then ice cold the next so go ahead are we in a playoff spot that was a pretty good run we are currently four points two points out but we have a game in hand and two games in hand on boston so we're it we're inching up boys we're getting closer and closer deandre sanford seems to be doing pretty well 
go ahead and take a look at the uh, rest of the lines here. Garen's group. Wow, Garen is tearing it up, boys. Oh my gosh. So Garen is absolutely crushing it. The fourth line, how are they doing? Cody Eakin's crushing it. Okay, so Sezikis was a minus 15 since coming over in the trade, and now he's a minus 13, so he's doing better. Josh Norris, he's, uh, shoot, I should have showed you boys this at the start of the video, but Josh Norris is currently leading the Calder race in points right now, so I love to see that. Jason Garen, though, 8 points in 12 games. Hopefully he can keep that up. And this first line, wow, Brady Kachuk has 5 goals since moving him to center. So whoever suggested that was pretty, uh, smart idea now how is brendan smith doing plus seven no points but he's plus seven so that analyst boys who suggested moving out nick holden absolute beast right there thank you so much for that sorrows sorrows continues to crush it man so i like what i'm seeing from the team here boys i don't think we need to make any moves the team seems to be simulating perfectly fine on its own i'm going to trust this uh trust this core to get it done right if nothing else they've earned that much so go ahead and keep simulating here hopefully yes boys yes yes keep putting these wins together let's go let's go boys come on come on keep the winch that's fine four five game point streak let's go six game point streak for your auto senators here the offense has absolutely come alive over these last six games six goals four goals five goals four goals three goals seven goals the offense is just outstanding right now boys love what i'm seeing here so carolina all right that's a huge game against carolina um it's a bit early so i won't go real-time simulation but like if we're if we're still in it at the last month or so of the season i want to do real-time simulation for uh, some of the close games right if we have a captain on the team i believe they will step up and show it to us uh here in the last month of the season right down the stretch AHL team is doing really well right now. So I'm going three games at a time here, boys, right? Uh, that way, if there's changes that need to be made, we can easily make them. But I feel like we control our own destiny here in year three, boys. We control our own destiny. Let's go. 40 win season for your Ottawa Senators here, boys. 40 win season here in year three. Let's go. That has to be a playoff spot, doesn't it? We're in a we're in a we're in the division spot. Oh my gosh. 87 points. Your Ottawa Senators are on fire here, boys. We control our own destiny. DeAndre Sanford leading the way with 61 points in uh, 71 games. Jason Guerin, how is this kid doing? 11 goals in 23 games. This kid is something special, boys. I knew it. I am a genius. Let's see. DeAndre, uh, Drake Batherson. I can't talk. I can't even focus. Josh Norris, boys. It's all coming together. It's all coming together here in year three. The fourth line's getting it done. Brady Kachuk is, I love you, analysts. Are you kidding me? Brady Kachuk as a center has just absolutely turned this team around as well. 21 goals. This kid stepped it up. Uh, how many two game winners, 20 power play points. Nikolai Ehlers has turned it around, boys. Is he gaining morale at all? He's gaining morale because of recent individual performance and ice time. Let's go, boys. The ship is turning around here up in year three. Uh, Eric Brandstrom, 11 goals, 14 assists. Very nice. Lannon doing what he does. Dude, Brendan Smith. So that third line pairing, that's also another huge change. That is huge. Having it go from being basically even to a plus nine is absolutely fantastic. The, like, this is all just coming together so nicely. All right, all right. Calm it down. We haven't done anything yet. We aren't, like, locked into a playoff spot. We still have a lot of games left to play here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting excited way too early. All right, here we go. Coming back down to earth. Um, come on, come on. Snap this. There we go. I was going to say, don't turn into a losing streak. Uh... Huge game against Buffalo. Let's go another three three games here, boys. Come on, come on. Just don't fall into a losing streak. There we go. Come on, two is nice, but three is a streak. Ah, that game against Buffalo is huge. All right, all right. Got to play insanely close attention to the standings here. Let's see. So we're, oh my gosh, it is. Okay, so we are currently two points ahead of the Bruins and four points ahead of the Panthers, right? But... To, in order to fall out, we need to be passed by the Columbus Blue Jackets, who are currently six points behind us. Okay, and we play them. All right, so that game against Columbus, boys, I think we got to do real-time simulation here. 
um, we'll go ahead and simulate up to that game. That's going to be huge. It looks like they're the only team that can like knock us out of a playoff spot. Oh my gosh, three game losing streak. That's not good. All right, we snap it against Detroit though. That's good. That's good. All right, so this game against Columbus is going to be absolutely huge if we want to make the playoffs here in year three. Three games left in the season, boys. I believe no, we can't. 80. No, we can't qualify. We can't qualify with a win here, but it's going to be huge. Let me just make sure Saros is in the net here, boys. Um, I want to be absolutely certain. Yeah, Saros is in the net. Very nice. Looked like Gustafson. Good gosh, Jason Garen, man. Absolute stud. I knew it, boys. This team is just so well built. All right, all right, all right. But it doesn't mean anything if we don't make the playoffs at this point, boys. 93 points. Come on now. We have to be in contention here. Let's go, let's go. Real-time simulation up against the Columbus Blue Jackets. If we have a captain on this team, they will show it in this game. First period, 2-2 tie. Uh, Texier starts the scoring. Norris ties it up. Eakin makes it 2-1. And Felino uh, ties the game near the end of the first. All right, so it looks like they had an onslaught in the first period. 15 shots, but we survived it. Now it's our turn to push back, boys. Second period, down 3-2. Darn it. Yorkstrand on Saros. Come on, boys. It's only a one-goal deficit. If there's a captain on this team, no. <laughs> but Naren on Saros. Ugh. It's not looking too hot for your auto centers. Wait, power play. Come on. Someone tie it up. Uh, come on, boys. It's only two goals. Get a quick one before the five-minute mark, and we can make this a game. Someone give us a little bit of hope. Something. Anything, boys. Come on now. Uh, nah, nah. Can't quite win it. Darn it. So, ugh, that's not good. That is not what I wanted to see. I'll go ahead and get up to the next game against Philly, who looks like the President's Trophy winners. 51 wins on the season. Ugh, that is not comforting at all. Now, let's see. 93 points. Uh, Florida has a game in hand on us. Good gosh, Pittsburgh's knocking on the door. Columbus. So, yeah, there's all these teams, boys. Two games left in the season. Now, clearly, we got to go real-time simulation, right? Uh, Saros is getting the start for these last two games, no doubt. It's against Philly. This is, like, huge. Come on, boys. Come on. Uh, I need someone to step up and show me they're the leader of this team in these next two games, boys. First period, 0-0. Zero, zero. I will take that. Good gosh, they outshot us 12-3. to three. Oh, my gosh. I am so nervous right now. Calm down, calm down. Come on, boys. Second period, someone show me a goal. Come on. I woke up this morning. I got myself a goal. Second period, 2-1 deficit. Voracek and Van Riemsdyk, but Batherson gets us to within one. Come on, boys. It's only one goal. Someone can step up right now and show me you want to be the next captain of the Ottawa Senators. Someone get it done for me. Come on, boys. Anyone here. I'm begging you. Someone step up and show me something. Anybody. Come on. Five minutes. Oh, come on, boys. Someone give me a goal. Anybody. Anyone on this roster? A goal? Anyone? Yes! Sanford! 28 seconds, you beautiful beast! Yes! <sighs> Overtime. Do I... I might have to... Uh... You know what? You know what? I'm going in watching it live, boys. I want to I see this game live. I want to see... I want to see your auto centers here in year three with my own two eyes. I want to... Uh... I want to spectate. I'm not going to play the game myself, obviously. I'm just watching it. But I want to see how this goes. I want to see how it ends up. This is a huge, huge moment, right? This next, whether or not we get this point, could determine if we're going to be in the playoffs for the first time in, in half a decade. This is huge. So don't worry. I'm not in control, boys. I'm just watching the overtime here. And I want to see what happens. Drew wins it back to Provorov. Drew skates in the zone. Pass it to Voracek. They're running the give and go. Dump and chase. Good gosh, the Flyers. Oh, what a save! Saros absolutely robs that Giroux. Let's go. Saros is keeping us in it here in year three, boys. You love to see it. Love to see it. Let's go. Sanford and Kachuk. I put that pairing together. They were the best pairing we had all of last season. They've been dominant this season. Oh, another big save by Saros. Play that, Saros. Play it, man. All right, all right. He's playing it safe. Perfectly fine. And, ooh, who is that with the black eye? Someone got in a fight. Ugh, ugh. Chuck probably beat him up. Love to see it. Come on, boys. Uh, face off win back. Huge block. Send him, send him. Shabbat, Shabbat on a breakaway. Come on, Shabbat. Oh, what was that? Penalty shot? Darn it. He's at the net coming off. 
come on, boys. I want skip the replays, man. What was that breakaway? He got hooked. Something clearly. Come on, stripes. Wake up. The man got hooked. Ridiculous. Officials, they must have slipped him a fat 20. Trying to uh, lock up that presence race. Tie up. Wait, we get possession though. Shabbat skates it in the zone. Come on, Shabbat, show me something. Pass off pad. Oh dear, no one's back. Get back, Shabbat. Out of way, out of way. Gossip Bear. Own lone man back. Shabbat one on one. Good play, good play. Block it. Sell out. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Shiru, over to Gossip Bear. Come on, come on. Yes, Sorrows. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeez, easy, man. Uh, Van Riemsdyk over to... Yes. Come on, get it out. Sanford skating it up. I haven't seen Sanford with the puck this entire overtime. Come on, boys. Show me something. No. Who is that? Couturier? Over to Gosses Bear. Good gosh. Gosses Bear's been out there the entire time. He's got to be tired. Shabbat's been out there the entire time. The Duke. The Duke of Ottawa, boys. Come on. Two on one. Show me something. Skates it in. What a sauce. Healers. Duke Hunter. Yes. <laughs> the Duke of Ottawa. Let's go. Let's go, boys. You'll love to see it. Is that? I don't think, uh, I don't think that was, um, what do you call it? Guarantees us a playoff spot, but I do think it guarantees that every other team has to win out if they want to beat us out for that final spot. Sanford with a game tire in the last 28 seconds. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. So yeah, we're not locked into a playoff spot yet, but we control our own destiny here. So I've been saying the entire time we control our own destiny. And all right, all right. Final game of the season, boys. It's going to be a long episode, but I don't care, man. Long episode. Uh, let's see. So, do we control it? Let's see. So, yeah, if we win this last game of the season, boys, we are in the playoffs. That is 100% guaranteed. I don't think the Rangers are fighting for a playoff spot. Make sure Saros is in net. All right, I'm not making any, any line changes, boys. This is it. Final game of the season, one way or the other. We have a chance to clinch a playoff berth here in year three with your Ottawa Senators. Come on, boys. Come on now. I want a strong first period. We've been trailing every single period to start out. I want a strong one. Come on. I woke up this morning. I got myself a goal. First period. All right. 1-1 one, one tie. Branny. Gagne ties it up, though. I will take that. Come on, boys. Second period. All right. 1-1 one, one tie. 20 minutes, boys. We control our own destiny here. If there's someone, if there's a leader on this team. Batherson, let's go. Yes. Come on, hold it down. Sorrows, I am begging you. I am begging you. Have your best 10 minutes of your career here. 10 best minutes of your career. Come on, Sorrows. Come on. Five minutes, boys. Sell out. I want everyone in the lanes. Block it. Who's taking penalties? You yes, he can. Yes. Three minutes, two minutes, and your Ottawa Senators here in year three, boys. Under GM Yeesh have qualified for the 2021 Stanley Cup playoffs. We did qualify. Right? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. We did. It's a... Uh, I thought uh, one little change I thought would be super cool if they added it was like if you know how you uh, you can go into the games and like either watch or play them live, how uh, GMs always shake hands with like the executives after you win. That would be a cool little feature. Anyway, something to think about EA. So we've qualified in the third place. Oh my gosh, the Battle of Ontario in the first round. Are you kidding me? Or oh wait, that's not set yet. That's not set. My bad, boys. Yeah, yeah. We could get a uh, Detroit. Darn, I was jumping the gun on that one. Detroit could be the uh, first round matchup. Now, Detroit offer sheeted Pierre Luc Dubois. I remember that. Darn, okay, okay, okay. So we're not getting uh, Toronto. Looks like it's going to be the Detroit Red Wings. Play them around. Who wants to meet with us? Josh Norris, Shabbat Ehlers. Please let it be good things. Team performance is really a non issue. I'm happy with it. Um. How did, how did he finish the season? 29 goals. He probably won the Calder. I'm going to just go ahead and do demanding. There we go. Good performance is just something that comes naturally to me, obviously. Thomas Shabbat living his best life up here in year three. Jeez, boys. This is going to be a long episode. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I'm trying to keep him shorter here, but this one, wow. Whew. Okay. My performance lately is something I'm not too proud of. Um, Does he like demanding? I think he likes motivating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. There we go. Uh, okay, so everyone is super pumped. Ehlers wants to perform better. So, yeah. It looks like we will... And, we, man, we need to win that last game. It looks like if we didn't, we probably... Uh, we might have made it on tiebreakers, but the boys... 
coming alive here. Love to see it. So go ahead. There we go. Simulate up to the uh, first playoff. We're not going to do the playoffs. I will go ahead and do that in the next episode. They're all going to be real-time simulation games. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to jump into the game, like an elimination game in overtime, right? I can go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, Detroit. I want to go ahead and show you guys their lines real quick. So, yeah, they offer she did to Pierre-Luc Dubois. They gave up four first-round picks for him. Uh, Larkin, Anthony, see, that is a good one, two, three punch down the middle. Zadna and Mantha. So this seems to be their scoring line, while the top line seems to be more of a shutdown line. Interesting. Kind of the same uh, setup we run. Rasmussen, that big 6-6 six, six center on the third line, uh, just like we have. So honestly, it seems to be okay. Brian Munro, their number one defenseman, seems like he's out with an injury. I will go ahead and check that next episode, boys, see how long he's out or if he's even out at all. I don't know because they have him in the lineup. Interesting. Who's their goalie? Jimmy Howard, 83 overall. So about the same as Sorrows, right? Sorrows had a fantastic year, but um, overall-wise, they're about the same. So you know what, boys? Seems to be a pretty evenly matched roster. Uh, it should be an exciting round one. I don't see any reason we can't take this. I, I really don't. I, I don't see any reason that we need to be the underdogs necessarily. We're right there with them. I don't think we're that much worse, right? Um, I'm not going to go into the playoffs thinking, all right, we made it. We're here. I want to try and win, boys. I don't think there's any reason our team can't go out there and uh, make some noise in the playoffs. But you know what? First things first, I'm just happy we made it. Um... Thanks to the insane advice you guys gave, moving out Pavelski, uh, Nick Holden needed to go, right? Putting Kachuk at center, that was huge. All, the, all that advice, boys, it added up and allowed us to make the playoffs here in year three. So this is just as much of an uh, accomplishment by you guys as it is for me. Let me know how you guys think we should uh, treat the playoffs, right? Just happy we made it, and I will see you all in the next episode for round one of the playoffs.